know? Yeah, we all choose our ways we have to fight, and that, but that's important that we choose our effective way to fight back. No law has ever been written to benefit the indigenous person. I've had, uh, when I was working on the reservation, they gave me a secretary. And it was a tribal member. It was this guy who was like an ex army guy. And they, you know, kind of gave him a position just to give him a job and whatever. And he ended up years later becoming a lawyer. And I was like, God damn it. <laughs> I mean, I hate, I'm not going to mention any names, but I'm like, damn, you know, education is really powerful. I mean, I know my my mentor would, would completely agree, and he took me, you know, when I was 25, I was a ditz, really, you know, we're talking almost 40 years ago, and I was, I was nowhere near because he grabbed me. He was he was African American. He just died last last year at 82. He's an African American painter from Detroit. He was my John Locker. Locker. L O C K A R D. And John, you know, he took me by the scruff and said, "You need to learn about culture." And I was 25, and that just completely changed my life. I was the same age I had been six years ago. Yeah. I mean, think about it. You can You gotta remember, you know, young people are young people, and you gotta have those experiences. You know, it's not everybody that gets the light bulb. That's why the older people, the light bulb is hot. They're scary. <laughs>